In this After Effects tutorial, I'll show you different techniques on how to animate abstract infographics. You'll see my workflow and we're using mainly shape layers for that. Hi guys, my name is Manuel. I'm a freelance motion designer. To follow along, download the project files for free. The link is in the description below. All right, let's get started. I've prepared the boxes and shapes we're going to animate now. The top layer is the mouse. Then there are two boxes on the right side, all containing several shapes and lines plus the big box on the left side and the purple box which appears in the end. Let's start with dragging those two sliders to the right. We open the buttons layer, unfold the rectangle path menus of button 1 and 2, set keyframes for the position at the beginning, then move to 10 frames and drag the X values to the right until we reach the right border. As we don't want a linear movement, we select all four keyframes and open the graph editor and adjust the speed curve for a slow start and a smooth ending. We drag the points down while holding shift and move the handles to the insides. Make sure the snap icon down below is activated and edit speed graph is selected. Then we move the lower two keyframes one second to the right as we don't want them to move at the same time. Next, we move the mouse. We select the layer and press P to open the position property and set a keyframe at 0 frames. Its start position is on the first button, then it moves to the right, dragging the button. Let's actually make the keyframes of the buttons visible by selecting the buttons layer and pressing U. So after 10 frames, the mouse is on the right corner of the button. The move needs to be organic, so we open the graph editor and adjust the curve. Select the points, move them down and drag the handles towards the inside. We don't want the mouse to move exactly like the button to make it feel more natural. Then we move the mouse down to the second button and move to the right again. Now, we need to adjust the path with the Convert Vertex tool, as a human hand doesn't move in straight lines. So we round this path a little. By selecting the Convert Vertex tool and dragging these handles to form a rounded path. And again, we select the two position keyframes and create some smooth curves until the move feels natural. Let's get to the actions those two buttons trigger. Button 1 starts a wavy line in this little box on the right. Therefore, I've drawn a simple path with the path tool ending just left of the box. The layer above, which is a bit smaller than the box, is the Luma mask, which makes the line visible only inside the box. Now, we're adding zigzag to the line. Set the size to 57 and the ridges per segment to 15. The points to smooth. If you release the mask, you can see the wavy line. Next, we simply animate the position. Press P while the layer is selected to open the position property. Set a keyframe at 10 frames, then move to 4 seconds and change the X position to around 1330 pixels. Then we add Easy Ease In to the first keyframe. Now to the second action. There are three lines in the box below to which I've added trim paths.
like I show you here right now. Add trim paths, change the start value and the offset value, kind of random. Done the same with the other two lines, and guess what? We're simply going to animate the offset values of these paths. So keyframes at 1 second and 10 frames, then we move to 4 seconds in the comp and change all offset values. And even better if you choose random values to get different speeds of movement. Awesome. Finally, we add Easy Ease In to the first keyframes for a slow start. The right side is done, let's move to the left. There's a window in the middle which we kind of maximize first of all. After clicking on this little circle on the left, the header moves up to the top, the box unfolds and the chart builds up. First, we link the circle and the cross to the header so they move along, as well as the box left layer. Then we animate the position of the box left header layer. So we set a keyframe for the position at 2 seconds, then move 10 frames to the right and change the Y position to 210 pixels. Now we want the box behind the header to unfold. We open the box left layer rectangle and change it into a BC path by clicking on the rectangle path while pressing CTRL and selecting change into BC path. We set a keyframe for the path at 2 seconds, then another one 10 frames later. Then we select the lower two points of the path and drag them down while holding shift to move in a straight line. To smooth the move, we select the two position keyframes and open the graph editor and form nice speed curves for a smooth beginning and ending. Drag the points down while holding shift to move in a straight line and drag the handles to the insides of the curves. Now we select the two path keyframes by selecting the path and do exactly the same. Make sure the snap icon below is activated so the points snap to the bottom line here. Of course we want the mouse to trigger that, so we add a position keyframe for the mouse layer at 2 seconds and move the mouse over to that little circle on the left. Then we use the Convert Vertex tool and drag that little handle way to the right to form such a rounded path. We want the mouse to move away again, so we go to 2 seconds and 15 frames in the comp and move the mouse down below the box. Then we select the Convert Vertex tool again and move that handle over to the right. With the last two keyframes selected, we open the graph editor and create smooth speed curves for a more organic movement. Next, we animate the buildup of the line chart. Those points fall down basically out of the header, so therefore we animate the points backwards, meaning we add a keyframe for the points final position at 2 seconds and 20 frames by selecting all the points, pressing P and clicking on that little stopwatch. Now we move 6 frames to the left and press the arrow down tab 7 times, meaning we move down the position 7 pixels of all selected layers. This lets the points bounce a little bit before they reach their final position. Then we expand all the layers 10 frames to the left. With all the position values selected, we drag the Y position value of one of them to the left until the points are somewhere up above the header. Next we select all the keyframes and add Easy Ease In. Then we search for the set mat effect in the effects and presets window, add it to the top point layer and select 18 box left as source. Next we copy and paste the effect to all the other points. Let's see. The points are only visible within the box now. Great. 
Then we want them to fall one after the other with one frame distance. So we move the layers to the right. Graph point two, one frame. Graph point three, two frames, you know, and so on. Next we animate the line. Quite simple. We add trim paths to the shape. Set the end value to 0, add a keyframe and 10 frames later we set it to 100. Then we select the two keyframes and add Easy Ease in. Finally, the purple box. It scales up as the mouse touches a point of the chart. First we link the cross and the inbox lines to the info box layer. Then we make sure the anchor point of the box is on the bottom right corner. We press S to open the scale property, add a keyframe by clicking on that little stopwatch and add another one 6 frames later. Then we turn back to the first one by clicking on that left arrow and change the value to 0. Finally, we add Easy Ease In to the keyframes. Then we select the mouse layer, press P to see the position keyframes and at 3 seconds and 10 frames move the mouse to the point where the purple shape scales up. Once again we use the Convert Vertex tool to form a curve. Click directly on the point and pull to the right. Finally we open the graph editor and press V to change to the selection tool and form a nice speed curve. And now it's your time to play. Take the project and make something new out of it. Make it yours. Have fun. So what are you gonna make out of that? Guys, I'm really curious. Let me know in the comments below. On the left side I've added some videos you might like. Subscribe to my channel on the right side and ring the bell if you want to know exactly when the next video is coming out. Thanks so much for watching. Hope that tutorial was somehow helpful. See you next time guys. Bye.